can't believe that I finished my third sticker book. Today, I'm sticking a cover. Welcome back to Sticking It with Anthony. I'm your host, Anthony Stickerman, and I'm Jad, I'm Jad. I'm Jad, you gloined me. <laughs> Thank you for gloining me. Today, I'm gonna be sticking a cover for my very third, <laughs> my very third sticker book. <laughs> I have now completed three of these bad boys. This is my purple one, and I'm going to be sticking a cover inside of here with stickers that I used on all the pages from inside the book. You got me? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be sticky. I am making a playlist of all of the videos that featured the stickers I'm about to stick. I'm gonna leave a link to the playlist in the description and you can just watch those videos and you'll be up to speed. All right, let's do this. Let's get sticking. So this first sticker I made myself, it's a column. I actually made this when I was doing a vaporwave page in my second book, but I thought it was a good example of homemade stickers, uh, which I did in this book on the first page. So these were some Num Noms stickers and they were really uncooperative. The packaging was all stuck together and they got kind of like warped when I was trying to take them apart. But I used them in a video where I stuck super cute stickers and they looked really cute on the page in the end. So I thought I would uh, use them up on this page. These are by Eureka, and these are probably from the 70s or 80s, and they're just super cute dogs. Um, I have a lot of, I have a lot of these little booklets. They're really cool. This is a Sonic Youth sticker. This is also the moment where I realized that this picture would actually be um, sideways um, because it's going to be in portrait mode. <laughs> portrait mode. You know what I mean. I saw Sonic Youth when I was a teenager at Lollapalooza. This is where I was doing a mermaid skin technique. And I just used repeating patterns to create this scaly effect. And this is just on some graph paper. And I thought if I tried to peel it off really slowly, I could get it off the paper and it would stick to my cover page here. And I was right, there it is. Looks really cool. I actually think it looks kind of like houndstooth. I did a page where I stuck Lisa Frank stickers exclusively and I used them to cover the entire page and it turned out really bright and uh, wonderfully, overwhelmingly colorful and I thought it was a lot of fun and I absolutely love Lisa Frank stickers. I did a page where I stuck stickers from the 80s and these are by Sangamon and they are banana scented. They still really strongly smell like banana, even though they're from the 80s. And that's what's really cool about those old scratch and sniff stickers. These are called Pick Me Pops. They are super cute. I use these on my cute page and I've used these with my students and on a lot of different pages because I love them so much. Here's another example of my mermaid skin technique. These are Hearts by American Greetings and they are kind of like a dark saturated pastel color and they peeled off the graph paper nicely as well. Love those. This is a sleeping panda bear. It's so cute. I believe these are Amifa sticker flakes and this packet had all kinds of cute sleeping animals with a little bit of gold detail and they're super cute. These stickers were given to me by one of my former students, Sarah, who has now graduated a, a while ago actually and did really well. And I absolutely love these stickers and thought it would be a perfect time to use more of them up. Um, I love the pig stickers a lot. 
Um, I love this dog taking another dog for a walk. I think it's really fun. And this pig is hungry and I can relate. I'm always hungry. These are some cute little flower sticker flakes and they were a little tricky to peel, but they were so worth it. They're translucent and on the yellow background, they seem to kind of be illuminated. I really love that. I did a video where I stuck whatever stickers I felt like sticking and I used a lot of black cats and uh, I thought I'd just stick one of these cute little sticker flake black cats on there as well as this little gray guy. From Pipsticks, we have some French otters. I love these stickers. They are so cute. They were gifted to me by Mel Sticks a lot and I absolutely love them. The French theme, the otter theme, it's just so much fun and I love this little otter chef right here. I'm gonna save the rest of these for power sticking. We have some trolls, these are by Trend. Trend sent me 16 of their brand new sticker packs and I did a whole page with them. I love how bright and colorful they are and I've loved Trend stickers forever. So it was super cool for them to reach out to me. These Agritsuko stickers I used in my do whatever I want video uh, because I just love this show. Retsuko is a cute tanuki with some anger management issues who likes to do karaoke, uh, death metal specifically. This is a Hallmark uh, sticker, it says great. These stickers I remember from my childhood. The memories of these ones go way back and I've actually used the stickers off of this very sheet in many of my videos since starting this channel. So that's the last one. Trend also sent me these uh, mask moji stickers, which I thought were kind of appropriate, even though I never used them on any of the pages in the book. It is 2021 and mask wearing is a thing. Yes, I'm smiling. I did a page where I stuck puffy stickers and it was relaxing. So here's a couple puffies. And I did a sticker gradient video where I used some of these cork stickers. I thought they would be great for power sticking. <laughs> I absolutely love how this page turned out. It looks so good and I feel like it represents what's inside of the book pretty well. A lot of the pages I actually used all the stickers that I intended to so some of the pages aren't represented as well on here um, including probably my favorite page which was the hollow page. I'm glad that I used the yellow background because I think it makes the stickers pop a little bit more. A big thank you to Sarah who gave me some of these stickers. That was very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much for watching Stickin' It with Anthony. I'm Anthony Stickerman and for the love of stickers have a great day. Bye bye And it's gonna be just a lovely little walk down memory lane. No, it won't be that. It won't be that. For my very third, <laughs> my very third. If you're a little curious, you know, you want to figure out what's going on. And I'm Jad, I'm Jad. I'm Jad, you gloined me. <laughs> Thank you for gloining me.